Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? Now, I kind of want to talk about in this video, um, Tiana Taylor and Iman Shepard. This is a lot to get into. It's a lot to talk about. Okay, so first and foremost, let's kind of have a little bit of background information. Now, while Iman Shepard has not made an official retirement announcement from basketball, he has been exploring various endeavors beyond the sport in the recent past. Now, Iman selected by New York Knicks as the 17th overall pick um, in the 2011 NBA draft, played 461 so 461 games throughout the decade long NBA career he also played a minor role in the Cleveland Caval Cavaliers historic NBA championship win in 2016 playing 18.3 minutes a game and um, averaging 3.0 points and 1.6 rebounds um, in the final against the Golden State Warriors he most recently um, had an appearance in an NBA game dates back, um, I think this was February 2021, when he briefly played for the Nets um, on a 10-day contract. In 2021, Iman Shepard won the 30th season of Dancing with the Stars. Now, he released his first studio album, The Car Ain't Stolen, in 2022. The album features 16 tracks and um, stories about his life. Um, Iman Shepard also took an acting role in the Showtime series, The Shy. So this just kind of background information on him. Um, Tiana also um, revealed, I think, September 17th via Instagram that she um, and the former NBA player were separated after being married for seven years. Um, in, in the Instagram post, she basically said, hey, you know, we're separated because previously people had seen him, you know, being shown or with different women and assumed that he had been cheating on Tiana. So she cleared the air and was like, no, no, that's still my best friend. We are separated, you know, and are taking time apart. So basically verifying that, no, we are not like there is no cheating going on. Um, that's not why we're separated. We're separated for other the reasons and basically giving him the okay like he's free to do whatever he decides that he wants to do yeah little boy gets injured curly head girl um Sent changes no 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 changes her whole schedule for tall boy uh because nobody was, taking, nobody care was taking care of tall boy tall boy was limping around the house on one leg uh curly head girl comes over changes her whole thing takes care of tall boy cleans up cooks great food i might add um yeah sit down on the couch curly girl touches uh Tall boy's legs, sparks fly, amen. Oh my god, what you doing? I'm at the crib. I went over, and this dude's walking around, limping, like everything oh, yeah, vanished up. Yeah. Come to find out he has surgery on his knee. Yes. So I'm like, I walk in, I'm like, my nigga, like, who's taking care of you? Who's yeah. here? Like, yeah. this nigga's literally limping around, like, nobody <laughs> helping him, like, nothing. So that whole week, I was coming over every day, you know what I'm saying? Like, making sure he was good. It's just so amazing. Like I said, at the time, like, I had gone through a really, you know, bad breakup, and he had gone through a breakup, you know what I'm saying? And you know, we were just really there supporting one another. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Two people that wasn't, that's the funny part about two people that wasn't looking for looking that. For like, that. we were like on some, I need time to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and two people that wasn't looking for it wind up, you know, that wind up happening. And also, right now in the media, it's been a big thing because Iman Shepard decided to expose the public to the fact that he and Tiana Taylor are going to get a divorce. It has been confirmed that they are getting a divorce. Um, In the court filing, she just, you know, put their initials there because she didn't want it to be public size and she wanted it to be very private because of her children she didn't want nobody really reporting on it so she decided just to put initials in um to protect everybody however iman shepherd had asked that everything be public um full names be included everything you know he went against what she decided that she wanted to do to keep their you know relationship or divorce private especially for the kids um he decided to make it public and that was something that tiana was really hurt by um and in the media she spoke um well, not really spoke publicly about it, but she, you know, made strives to say that that was an issue. Um, people have been reporting that she had an issue with him making it public, um, and rightfully so. I probably would feel a certain type of way, too, if I went out of my way to protect certain people, especially my children, and you decided to go against that and make something public. And I think it shows the character that he has, you know, behind closed doors. We get a, a certain facade of these celebrities, but behind closed doors, their actions kind of, you know, seemingly gives off of, uh, you know, an ink, uh, inkling in the personality of who 
who these individuals are. So the fact that he decided to not protect his children um, speaks about volumes to me, in my opinion. But then again, we really don't know the entire truth of it. But that entire him, you know, making the divorce so public is definitely a red flag, in my opinion. But, you know, she's tried really, really hard to say, hey, you know, my business is my business. You all stay out of my business. Don't, you know, don't say anything. Leave it alone. Let us deal with this in private, please. I'm asking. I don't bother nobody. I'm just asking that you guys leave me alone so I can go through this privately. And I think she's owed that. You know, if she wants to have a you know private situation, she's owed that. And she should be able to. But it's definitely a hard thing, especially with him now trying to make it public and, you know, filing for it to be public. So I, I think that people are definitely going to be in the business more. If a man is wealthy, he don't want the woman's money and stuff like that. However, it has been exposed allegedly that he makes Tiana Taylor pay 50-50. Um, and this clip is being going viral around social media. Oh, won't you pay no? We don't care for you to do that. We not coming to get you for no bread. If you do that and you get your own bread on the side, we gonna clap our hands for it. We gonna smile about it. We gonna be proud of it. We don't need you to do it. That's the advantage of picking us. We don't want you for that. We won't. Honestly, we don't, bro. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I we don't. See, a fan on Twitter had this to say. Um, they said, hearing about Tiana Taylor marriage just reminded me how crazy men are. He really had her paying 50-50 while he hid money away in separate accounts, but was on the, these podcasts saying how men with money don't want, them, don't want the woman to pay bills. Crazy. Now, Tiana Taylor is a actor she is a musician she is a choreographer an amazing dancer she is the de the definition of a triple threat amazing artist overall um she's just absolutely brilliant and she's known in the industry has put work in ever since she was 16 years old and i think that when she and um, iman shepherd got together he was a basketball player the amount of money kind of leaned more so towards that now when he stopped playing basketball and the incident happened with his knee um and it's never been publicly announced that he's done with basketball however he hasn't played for a while now um it is 2023 last game they that he is documented playing would be since uh, 2011 so it's been a long time since Iman Shepard has actually publicly played. So I would say that he's not he has not been doing basketball um, or making a lot of revenue from basketball. Um, and now he has to figure out other ways to feed and take care of his family. And at first he was the breadwinner. But I think things switched around to where Tiana may have been the breadwinner. And I, I feel super bad for Tiana just because she's had to fight so much in this music industry um, to be her. She's an amazing artist. First, it was Kanye west then you know what i'm saying she just had a lot of strives in the career that she chose you know she has to fight all these you know executives producers you know people who not funding her projects not pushing it the right way not having the support from the industry to now come home and then you have to not have you know adequate amount of support for your from your husband it is draining and exhausting i can't fight the world and then come home and fight my man as well you know what i'm saying and it's seems as though she has been supporting Iman Shepard. I've seen her support. I, I know that they have like a behind the music type of situation to where she basically um, set up everything, like directed his music video, helped him as far as the artistry or like the visuals and everything for his his um, album and the things like that he's done. She's helped fund, you know, they have a, they're a couple, they are a team, they work you know on each other's projects together and i think he feels small because tiana is finally you know making it tiana's been doing this ever since she was 16 years old you know i remember seeing her on sweet 16 you cannot compare that to a uh, iman shepherd who has now been doing this because or doing the the um music like acting um you know what i'm saying doing these different things just because his basketball career didn't pan out why didn't he start a podcast for basketball because he is a basketball player that's kind of like the route that i've seen like you know people who have done basketball go to but there's different ways to be or go about it i feel like there is a lot of envy on his side about tiana taylor and how successful she is and the worst thing in the world is having a man that is jealous of you that is jealous of your success jealous of how you 
you know, how you garner it. And even when you don't feel as though you are as successful, because Tiana has not felt as though she was successful in the music space for a very long time. So for you to not, you know, be happy with yourself and you don't feel as though that you sh are not the place that you feel like you should be. And then having your spouse be jealous of you is very draining on a woman, you know, and she should not have to dim her light just so he can be able to shine just so he can be able to feel like a man you know what i'm saying if the way i act or the way the who i naturally am gets in the way of you just being a man then maybe you're not the man for me maybe you need to find a woman that's able to shrink or a woman that's you know down so you can feel like the man and be able to take over but no woman or no individual should have to dim their life for somebody else especially somebody else that they are in a relationship with i don't think it's up to tiana taylor to down her her light or dim her light in order for him to feel you know secure as a man if he feels insecure and there's nothing that she's done and he's just not happy with who he is he needs to invest in some therapy and get the you know the help that he needs because this is kind of where i agree with will and jada smith i mean i know it's crazy right i'm agreeing with will and jada smith um but seriously it's like you cannot find happiness just in a relationship. You have to find happiness with yourself. You go and you make yourself happy. That like that other person go and make themselves happy, and then you all come together. They're already having threesomes and inviting other people in the relationship. So I know it's not a sexual thing. I think it's just the fact that he is not happy with himself ever since he quit. Or I can't say quit because it's not technical, but he hasn't done basketball. Um, you know, after his injuries and him that being the big set of income and him not making that income anymore can definitely lean towards some insecurities you know and i just don't think it's fair for her to have to deal with the entire media deal with people not appreciating her artistry and then come home and then her husband also is jealous of her or he doesn't believe in her or she has to you know dim her light or be able to help him feel secure as a man and give so much to him and you know what i'm saying it's not even out especially when he's not giving that back to you because he's so insecure because he's so insecure he's so you know at a standstill that he doesn't feel confident within himself you know you guys have to at least go to couples counseling or couple marriage if you guys have already done that and it's just not going to work and divorce is the right thing to do i pray that this is an amicable divorce but the way he's going about things leads me to believe or leads me to know that it's not going to be an amicable divorce it's not going to be something private or something safe because it seems as though he's trying to hurt her and i don't understand why because by hurting the, the mother of your child you're hurting your children you know and i I don't understand that a lot of men don't realize that but you hurt the mother of your child you're hurting your children because their security or their you know happiness kind of depend largely on that woman and the fact that you had her paying 50 50 but saying men with money don't want women to be paying anything is, is crazy it's like you show a certain facade to the public that you truly are not so it makes me feel as though there is some truth about you being a narcissist because i don't know if you guys know this but tiana taylor had came out previously and said that iman shepherd not publicly but this was said in the court paperwork that people have retrieved online is a narcissist um and he basically had her mentally going crazy you know i'm just like paraphrasing but had her like really feeling a certain type of way like it was a lot of mental abuse narcissism and other things you know passive aggression you name it he was you know a handful and i believe it because the facade that he portrays is not who he is a, as a person and that's very very scary i hope that if this is going to that like this is what she really really wants you know i feel as though you know i pray that it goes by safely i've heard that tia tamara um i always say tia tamara guys tia mari um is going back to her ex-husband allegedly after they had a messy divorce and everything she's like realized that ain't nothing out here on in these streets um and that she wants her ex-husband and she wants to be with him and there are certain things you know that happen within their relationship that she feels like that they can repair so if you guys can save it try your hardest to save it you know if it has to be divorced just know that you know you can't go looking for him in other relationships and other situations maybe if he gains the security or the safety or you know gather up his insecurities his midlife crisis or whatever he's going through this is just for a time being once he gather it all up maybe you guys can really work on the relationship maybe a divorce is not the right option i don't know i'm not in y'all's marriage or y'all's relationship but men women people we go through phases where we just feel you know inadequate and incomplete and it's it's a human thing we all have that but to make her feel as though that she has to you know ignore the things that she's going through or shrink 
in order to help you shine, it's very devastating. And I understand, you know, her just being frustrated with the entire situation. But I, you know, believe her, this is a private matter, especially for their kids and their children. You know, you have to be able to have that privacy. I don't know why he would push to make this a public issue and have us on the internet have an opinion on it. It's crazy to me. But yeah, maybe he's going through an insecure phrase, phase. You know, the only reason we even knew about something being lost is because he was out here with different women and these women just so happy to be in any area or any connection to a um tiana taylor that they're willing to just blast him online for messing around with them to where tiana had to come out and say no 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 it's not that we're separated but he was he, he's been handling it very very messy i don't know what's the purpose you know why do you want the public to know why are you being seen with these different different women why are you not handling things in a very discreet way is it because you're hurt that you know a divorce is even an option are you afraid that you know things are going to change with the kids tiana taylor doesn't tiana doesn't give me that energy that she would do things like that it just gives me that she just wants to just be done with it and just end things peacefully but you know how iman's been moving it makes me feel as though he's going to drag this and drag her along you know so much so that it, it may like end up really really messy they may not be friends after this i don't know but i pray that they are able to handle this maybe not get a divorce at all maybe fix their relationship maybe heal even if they are going to get a divorce end it as friends you never know this is an entire like crazy situation but i just wanted to get my one two on it i love you guys to pieces and bye bye